Okay, we all know I love squats, they're my favorite lift. Now that we've gotten the 405 bench out of the way, what about deadlifts, Nick? One of the biggest lifts in a part of the meet, and the one that everyone knows I suck at the most. My progress is the most stagnant with deadlifts. Well, I decided to stray off the of schedule, because I've been bored as hell with deadlifts and I had to make them fun. And I decided I wanted to try hitting 600 pounds on a stiff bar. I've hit 600 pounds on a deadlift bar before, you may remember, never on a stiff bar. So I decided to try it with the Ohio Power Bar. Now, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reverse time real quick. Let's go back to last week. What you're about to see is last week. This isn't the PR yet. It kind of is, but not really. Just here, here. this happened last week. Why hello YouTube, today was deadlift day. And I hate deadlifts as you all already know. And I was supposed to do chain deadlifts today, a variation of deadlifts, with a stiff bar yet again. Now, I hate deadlifts in general, but I hate them even more right now because I'm so obsessed with this 405 bench that we're progressing toward. So now deadlift days are like chores. So I decided to send it, as the young kids of today are saying, and go for pulling 600 pounds on the stiff bar. I'm not even peaked. I shouldn't even be trying to attempt a PR right now, but I just, I was so bored and hated deadlifts that I had to do something to make it fun. I'm sorry, Brett, my coach, I'm a terrible client. Without further ado, here it is. I suited up with the Anis, the best deadlifting shoe in the game, discount code, and the link for them is in the info box below if you're interested. And I got to work with the Ohio Power Bar, the stiffest bar of them all. JK, the Alico is way more stiff, but it's $1,000. <laughs> So I worked up to 600 pounds on the stiff bar and went for it. First attempt, shot up off the ground but stalled out around my knees. But I determined that was a positioning error. So I retried it again a second later, positioned myself differently, got a little bit closer to the bar, and that did the trick. If you want to say that rep didn't count, I totally won't even fight you on it. Okay, back to the future, back to the present. Uh, that was last week. Since then, the 405 bench has happened. Let's go, finish it, finish it. Today, I want a redemption. I hitched that 600 was ugly, it didn't count. It was red lighted like crazy, I was hitching like crazy. The problem was, it got caught on the skin of my, on my thighs. It got caught on my legs, that's why I hitched. Now that sounds like an excuse, that's just an excuse, Nick. You are just too weak and had to hitch the weight up, fair. So that's why I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and prove it was just sticking to my legs and retry it again today. Except I'm gonna add on a couple of differences. The first is a singlet, so we don't have to worry about baggy ass shorts getting caught in the bar. The second is baby powder to apply to our quads so the bar slides up the sweaty skin instead of sticking and gripping to the sweaty skin. Baby powder, sliding. And the third change is we're gonna try 605 today, a five pound baby PR, just for the sake of getting a PR. And because when I first started following Johnny Candido, that was his max, so that number's just been in my head. But yeah, 605 on a stiff bar, this time with baby powder so it slides. My predictions, it'll still be slow as hell. Everyone knows my weak, my lockout is super weak, my glutes are weak, and my lockouts are only super slow. So it'll be like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi on the lockout for sure. It's an all out max, but there should not be any hitching. It should remain clean form wise. White lights. <laughs> The other big change I'm making is I've been using this medium sized Inter belt, it's a 13 millimeter, um, so it's a little bit thicker than your average 10 millimeter belt, and I love it, love it to death. It was a gift from Ariana when I first started powerlifting, Ronnie Coleman signed it, been with me through all my meets, all the way up to regionals, love it, won't trade it for the world, still love it for squats and everything else. Only issue is, the rule of thumb with deadlifts is you usually want a slightly looser belt, just so you can get in a position, and I have noticed that this throws me out of position. I have better form and a more neutral back when I go beltless. So, I hit up Slingshot, my guys at Slingshot, and they hooked it up with a size large, 10 millimeter strong belt. Being a size large means I can make it even looser, uh, not as constricting, and it's a 10 millimeter, so it's not gonna be as aggressive with the bracing. So I should be able to get in a more natural position with it.
verdict is in, the belt felt phenomenal. That was the cleanest my form has ever felt with anything over mid 500s in ages with a belt on. So, major success. Feel like your belt is giving you issues with your form. Try going a notch looser or even switch to a slightly thinner belt. Again, just using this one for the deadlifts only. Still love my ends for everything else. How much you bench.net. Oh baby, what's in the box? This is pretty dope. Brand new BPI gear. Looks like a tank top. This looks like a zip down hoodie. Fresh as can be. Got Mo Creatine, best creatine, fruit punch flavored. You guys know I love fruit punch. And this is brand new. What is this? Just squeeze and go. Best aminos. Oh, that's cool. You can squeeze them right into your water bottle. That's awesome. Guys, the link for BPI is in the info box below. And my last name, Wright, is a discount code for everything on the BPI website. You can use it as much as you want and never expires. You're welcome. 605 pounds officially in the books, considering just over a month ago, my all-time best deadlift on a stiff bar was only 578. So just over a month, we bumped up to 605, which is an all-time PR for stiff bar or deadlift bar. And I'm happy with that. And I'm, I'm starting to feel a lot more confident about the 600 pound range anyway. I'm not looking at it as such a big deal anymore. Feeling a lot more confident about it, a lot more casual about it, which is a big step in the right direction. You need to be able to mentally feel confident about a milestone in order to conquer it and rise up from it. So I'm excited to keep moving up in the deadlifts. Apart from just being physically weak at it, I need to strengthen up my glutes, which I have been doing. And, and we've been making progress slowly but surely. But apart from physically just being weak at the deadlifts, I also just don't enjoy them. It's my least favorite activity. Like I wake up on deadlift day and I, I contemplate skipping the gym. That's how much I hate deadlifts. This little 605 PR kind of lit the fire in me again. Now I'm actually excited to work on my deadlift and just get better at it. My biggest thing I need to do, start putting mental energy and focus in the deadlifts. I need to stop hating them, start teaching myself to enjoy them and put give them the same attention and focus that I've given the squat and the bench. And I think when I do that, then I can start making some better progress with them on top of obviously strengthening up my weaknesses. So. I am actually going to switch to a deadlift bar because I have a super total meet coming up at the end of January and they use a deadlift bar in that, so I have to. And I'm excited about that because that'll actually make deadlifting fun again. I had a lot of fun pulling with the deadlift bar the last time I did it and I actually made a lot of progress when I was deadlifting with the deadlift bar just because it was so much more fun. So I got excited to deadlift. I got excited to put energy into my deadlift days. So I'm actually looking forward to that again. I set a goal uh, at the beginning of 2017 for all my lifts and I've hit all my goals actually already except for the deadlift goal. But we got a couple months left in 2017 so I'm determined to hit that goal as well.